Hi everybody, welcome to my big tidy up. My name's Dee Dee. Thanks for checking out my channel today. Now today, here's what I got on the menu. Today I'm gonna to be a little bit like a DJ because I am accepting requests. A couple of weeks ago, shortly after I did my Amazon favorites, I had a subscriber friend from Facebook, Susan, asked me if I would consider doing a Dollar Tree favorites. And why that never occurred to me, I have no idea. Because this house is jam-packed with items from the Dollar Tree that I use for organization. So I'm gonna be going through my home, I'm gonna show you those items, and then I'm gonna show you different ways that you can use the same item, kind of think outside the box. Because I am a big fan of if I'm gonna buy something, I wanna be able to multi-purpose it, use it in different ways for different things. So that's what's on the menu today. So without any further ado, let's get to organizing. Let's talk about Dollar Tree solutions and let's get tidy. Okay, friends, here we go. Now we're starting in the kitchen and I'm gonna be showing you some things and maybe you've seen them before, but what I'm hoping to do today is to share with you some ideas and different ways you can use these items. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about are these canisters. I've had them for several years. I absolutely love them. They are good, they are sturdy. I love that they have the wide opening and I also love that they have these built-in handles so they're easy to retrieve and return. Now, I use mine for for my dry goods, my flours, my brown sugars, all my different things for baking. But you could use these for so many different things as well. Now I have the big ones, but you can also buy them about half the size and use them for different things. Now actually, we have a family member. She keeps her dog treats in these. But you could use these for laundry supplies, your detergent, your borax, all of those different things. They seal real well. Not to mention you could use them for snacks, you know, because with the big wide opening, you can get your hand down in there real easy. Now my next favorite organizer is my file organizer, aka my cookie sheet holder. Now this is definitely a favorite of mine and it has made the rounds in my home. I may get another one one day, but this is the permanent home for this one. And I would say this is probably one of the most versatile organizers I've probably ever bought. At one time, I had this upstairs in the My Big Tidy Up closet, and I used it to keep all of my gift bags sorted. And just look at all the places you can use this in the kitchen. And yes, it's great to use in the office too. It can hold your iPads, your tablets. You can use it for magazines or catalogs. And yes, you could use it for what it's intended for, files, but you can use it for a lot of other things too. And this one, it has stood the test of time. I used to have another one from Walmart, but it bit the dust. But the good old Dollar Tree one, it's still going. Now I've come up here to the tidy up closet because I really do have a lot of Dollar Tree organizers up here. Now I don't know if I have shown you guys this basket or not because I've only had it about a month or so, but I picked this up from the Dollar Tree, only $1.25 and look how sturdy this is. Now I picked up the clear, but they come in all different colors and I will tell you the brown one almost looks like a decor basket, not just a storage basket. And I've been kind of using it to hold little Halloween items for the trick or treat buckets. Now I did pick up more of these little jars and I have these scattered all over my house. They are so cute. And right now I'm gonna use them for M&Ms and then I'll just throw the little jars into the Halloween buckets, but I have them stashed all over my house. Now this one I keep for buttons in the craft little tub, but you could use them for safety pins, bobby pins, you name it. And you know, another thing that's great to use these for is jewelry when you're traveling. It keeps it all safe and together.
Okay, back to the closet. Now, another one of my organizing favorites are these plastic shoe boxes. I absolutely love these and I use them in so many different ways. And sometimes, as you can see, I have extra lids because sometimes I'll use them and not use the lids. But one thing that's great about these, these are a great economical solution if you're looking to organize and you really don't want to invest in a lot of the hard plastic that's a little bit more pricey. And a lot of times when I go and do my big tidy ups and I organize for folks, this is a great option because you can get a lot of organized for a small amount of money. They're sturdy, they're stackable, and you can use them in a lot of different ways. Now I do use these a lot in my home and I know there are different kind of folks. Some people like their storage concealed where you can't see what's inside and some people like to be able to see what they've got stored. Now these do come in different colors but they're still transparent and I love to label things is kind of my jam but with this style of container it's so great because you don't have to label them. Just like with these little activity kits you can see what's inside. The littles can see it, grab it, and go. Now here in this guest room, we store our audiobooks. And when I wanted to get all of these organized, I tried to use expandable drawer dividers and I could not get it to work. I could not get everything to fit properly. So I just started using these same shoe boxes without the lids and used them more as dividers. And it's been working great so far. Well, I've headed down to the basement bathroom to show you another one of my favorites, and boy, has this been around at Dollar Tree for a long time. It's these little storage caddies with the handles. Now, right now, I've got this set up for bath time for my grandchildren, so I can just grab everything I need. It's all in one central location. This one's ready. It's got the bath towel, the washcloths, all the soaps, and I've got an extra one set up back here with extra clothes, socks, things like that. I absolutely love these. Now let me show you some other uses for these caddies. You can use them for so many things. Now what I'm using this caddy for right now is just to organize some Play-Doh supplies for Play-Doh time. But a lot of times what I'll do, instead of bringing out this big container, I'll just fill the small caddy with a few items that we might need to do a craft. It makes cleanup a lot easier and it's nice if you wanna take it outside. These caddies are great for your bathroom, for self-care items. Now this caddy is set up for skin care, but you can set them up with your bath products, cosmetics and cosmetic brushes, hair products, supplements and medication. The list goes on and on. Now, when I tell you I have been using these caddies for years, I definitely have. They are great for organizing your home, but they are also great for organizing your car. Some time ago, I made a video about car organization and road trip survival, and these caddies were definitely part of it. Now, you can prepare these caddies with snacks from your home for big and little folks alike, and they cut down on the mess because the empty wrappers stay right in the caddy and not on the floorboard. And they're great for going through the drive through trying to balance everything on your lap. You don't have to do that. Just take out your fries and your burger and put it in one compartment and put your drink in the other, and it'll stay steady on your lap. You can fill them with books and activities for littles when you're traveling. They're just a great way to stay organized in your car. And since sometimes a lot of folks feel like they live in their car anyway, it's a good way to keep your home and your home away from home organized. Now, if you're traveling for the holidays and you're interested in ways to survive a road trip and stay organized, I'll link that old vintage video below in the description. Now, this would not be an organizing favorites video if I did not share a Lazy Susan. 
These Lazy Susans are $1.25. I absolutely love these. They're good quality. And you guys know I love a good Lazy Susan because I have them everywhere. I have them for my cleaning supplies. I keep them in my refrigerator for drinks. I keep them for laundry supplies, bath products, medicine, you name it, I've got them hid everywhere. And I've even got my husband using them now in the garage. But let me show you something. Now this Lazy Susan is from Walmart. It's a good one. It is 12 inches, but it was $8. The one from Dollar Tree, it's 10 inches, but it's $1.25. So there's really not that much difference. It's sturdy, it's strong, it moves smooth. The casters on the bottom move real nice. And here's the thing, the 12 inches, part of that is this lip right here. So you really don't lose that much storage. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put all these cans over here and I'm only gonna lose one can. So for the price difference, I can definitely lose one can. Now I do like the Walmart ones and I'm going to keep them, but little by little, I will be phasing them out and phasing these in. Super strong, super durable. It's a win. My next Dollar Tree favorite, well, it's really a pair of favorites, and it's these over-the-door hooks. I have been so happy with them. Now, this single hook I've had for a long time, and I'm sure you guys have probably seen it in several videos, but this longer one I haven't had for that terribly long, maybe a couple of months. And actually, when you feel it and pick it up, it is a lot thinner, and it's not as heavy or strong. But let me tell you, I have stacked a lot of heavy items on this, and it is held up, and it has not bent at all. So I'm just going to share with you a lot of different ideas that I have come up with that you can use these hooks for and feel free to share. If you've got some of these hooks and you're using them in different ways, let us know about them. Now here in our coat closet, I've got some baseball caps hanging, but you could definitely hang your winter hats and scarves, umbrellas, or jackets that you use all the time. If you have a closet or a pantry, it's a great place for hiding your cleaning tools and getting them off the floor. Or if you don't, and you have a door that pretty much stays open all the time, it's a great way to conceal things that you don't want to have sitting out. Now here in the closet, there are so many things you can do with this. You can use this for your accessories like necklaces, bracelets, belts, scarves, or if you're someone who plans out your professional wardrobe for the week, you can have a hook for each day of what you plan on wearing and you could add your accessories to the hook too. Or maybe you can use it for something maybe you just wore for like an hour, but it's too clean to be dirty and it's too dirty to go in the regular clothes population because you're going to maybe wear it again. And if you know what I'm talking about, you are my people. And if you're someone who wears something just for an hour and you wash it, that's okay too. I just don't want you to judge me. Go ahead and prove me wrong. 
Now I've headed down here to the basement and our storage room to show you another place that you can use the multiple hook. And it's actually where we're using it right now. We put it down here and it's holding some of our extension cords. And you know, in the past, we've always kept them in like a big bucket or a tub and then you're having to dig around and root around to find what you're looking for. But once I get through the holidays, I'm gonna go through, get the rest of them out of the bucket, wrap them properly, and this will probably be the permanent home for all of our extension cords because it's working so well. Now, as far as the single hook goes, I usually keep one in the guest bathroom or one in the guest bedroom. It really is sturdy. It's the sturdiest hook I've ever found, actually. And if someone's got a bag and they want to keep it off the floor or their purse, it works so well. You could line these up in a row if you've got multiple children, like with backpacks, because let me tell you, we all know there is nothing heavier than a student's backpack, and this hook can hold it all. Okay, friends, before I forget to mention it, everything I've shown you today, I still found at my local Dollar Tree, and everything was just $1.25. Okay, last favorite, it's this zip-up storage bag, and I've actually used this myself in many different ways. You can put seasonal clothing items in here, extra blankets, pillows, holiday items, stuffed animals. I even had it set up once as a wrapping station so that I could put all of my long tubes of wrapping paper together. Now this does have a handle on it where it could be hung, but truthfully, since it was only $1.25, I've never risked that. I just lay it flat and try not to put a lot of pressure on it and it's still going strong. Well, Tidy Uppers, that's a wrap for today. Thank you so much for being here. I hope this video gave you new ideas on things you can do with organizers you already have or organizers you can pick up from the Dollar Tree. Now, if you have some of the items that I shared today and you're using them in a different way, would you please let us know in the comments what you're doing? Because I have never made it a secret that some of my best ideas come from you. I really appreciate you guys being here today. Please take care of yourself. And until I see you in the next one, Stay tidy.